This fight is a lot different than most. I'm fighting the light heavyweight champ, Daniel Cormier. He's a tough guy, he's fought some really good guys, and, but nothing I'm not used to. So, I mean, it's gonna be a great fight. Unfortunately, I'm gonna walk out with the belt still wrapped on my waist. That's fucking great. He's got absolutely no clue. He's just, he thinks he wants to be a part of a super fight. Well, unfortunately, he's got one, and he's got a big dude that's gonna hit him real hard. So, I hope he's ready. Cody, what do you think my Wisconsin accent? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. DC is very appreciative of his fans, and he's always with welcome arms when they when they come around and they want an autograph. He never refuses anybody. You know, he always has time for his fans. So I had my friend give me a call. He has a good friend of his with his uh, two sons that are huge fans of DCs, and one of them is autistic. And he asked if it was at all possible if I can bring him down to, to meet DC. And I thought maybe they'd want to come watch DC work out. So I talked to DC and he was so happy to do it. Yeah, a real hug, huh? Oh. oh, man. You excited about watching training? Yes, yes. You know, they, get, they get to watch him practice uh, you know, in the workout. So I think they're going to really enjoy that. As close as we get to the fight, the worse it is to train with him. Nice, 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 beautiful. One round, like, he's to kill you. The second round, is just, like, to bully you. Especially now as a heavyweight, he has a lot of pressure. He can ground pound, and also he can throw some submission there, too. You know, I have a good feeling this fight is going to end up with a submission. Time! part of me that's afraid of Stipe Miocic. The only way he can win is to knock me out. There's no other way he beats me. If he didn't finish Ngannou on the ground, he is not finishing me on the ground. And if we fight for 25 minutes, there is no way he gets his hand raised. How do you feel about this? Hand still. Hand still. Hand still. Hand still. take note of this uh, for five years now Derek and I have been together and I can't tell you how many pads he's he's busted up, 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 yes. up, up here up. good I believe the majority of our paper resales will be from me because me and Francis but the real reason is everybody been wanting to see this fight for the longest more than they've been wanting to see those other guys don't stop till they pull you off Bubba Good job, buddy. Water, please. Right now we're at Syndicate Mixed Martial Arts in Las Vegas, Nevada. It happens to be the 4th of July. I thought I'd be out drinking beer, eating hot dogs, and watching some fireworks, but I'm here with this guy uh, getting ready to uh, go out and get a big win this weekend. Oh, fucking headlock. Yeah. 
I'm just excited. I'm just days away from getting to go into the T-Mobile Arena in front of 15,000 plus fans under those bright lights. And for me, this is a huge opportunity. You know, I'm in this sport not only to compete, but I'm in this sport to test myself. And this is a good test for me. Cross. Fucking is that Max confirmed? is out with concussion. No way. Super Shit, happy. that sucks, man. That's a bummer, exactly. man. Hope he's okay, you know? You know, this that's one not to take light duty. Me and Francis have started to build a, a friendship. I know the guy could pretty much pull my head off with relative ease, but I still like to mess with him. <laughs> Found this funny picture from Lethal Weapon 1 with Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's got like a long mullet. Dude, it's me and Francis, dude. We're Lethal Weapon. We're fighting back to back on the same card. We're teammates, we're buddies. <laughs> You know, he's an awesome guy, true inspiration. And July 7th, T-Mobile Arena, Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Lethal Weapon. <laughs> what?